we're living in these times, a time of tremendous failure, of man's sense of uh, responsibility for what he is doing. You relinquish it to the state. He's not obedient to his own, the promptings of conscience. Those promptings of conscience, she believes, should compel people to help each other, one to one, an extension of a concept known as personalism. This idea that every Christian has a personal responsibility to get involved in taking care of our brothers and sisters. When someone comes to us and asks for help, we can't say, well, the state office is down the street, or here I can give you these coupons, but I can send you to the right office. So that's the wrong response. The response we're called on is that we ourselves have to do something for that person. The profound theological truth she saw was that we should do something for the other because that changes us. It doesn't just change the other person. We are changed. For Dorothy Day, the notion of personal responsibility is directly tied to her understanding of the Catholic faith, a faith she converted to in her 20s. She was a conservative Catholic, meaning the liturgy was important to her. She wasn't, as people might think, a religious leftist. So Dorothy, on theological matters, ecclesial matters, biblical matters, was actually quite conservative. And she was radical in her social, economic, political views because of her conservative faith. 